We want to start our chapel in the name of our triune God, God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let's sing our wash song. Gotta wash, 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 wash your hands a lot. Doodle-loot, doodle-loot. Gotta wash, 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 wash them on the spot. It is plain to see. No germs on you, no germs on me. Cause we wash, wash, wash our hands a lot. All right, good. We have been working on a new song, Oh, the Lord is my helper. And just to remind you, the first verse, Oh, the Lord Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. Can you say that with me? Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The, and we repeat, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. He is strong and mighty. Can you say that with me? He is strong and mighty when I am weak and low. When I am weak and low, so I will not be afraid. Well, let's try that first verse. Let's sing it two times. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. He is strong and mighty when I am weak and low, so I will not be afraid. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. He is strong and mighty when I am weak and low, so I will not be afraid. Now the second verse, we can learn, you ready to learn the second verse? Okay, okay, good. It's, oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. It repeats. It's the same as the first verse. Now here's where it gets different. How do I know this? The Bible tells me so. Now I will not be afraid. Okay, so the difference is, how do I know this? Can you say that with me? How do I know this? The Bible tells me so. The Bible tells me so. Now I will not be afraid. Let's sing that. Let's sing that twice too. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. How do I know this? The Bible tells me so. Now I will not be afraid. Let's do it again. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. How do I know this? The Bible tells me so. Now I will not be afraid. Good. Can we do the whole song? I think we can. Let's try it. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. He is strong and mighty when I am weak and low, so I will not be afraid. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. How do I know this? The Bible tells me so. Now I will not be afraid. All right, good. Let's, let's do it one last time. One last time, just to make sure. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. He is strong and mighty when I am weak and low, so I will not be afraid. Oh, the Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. The Lord is my helper, he will never let me go. How do I know this? The Bible tells me so. Now I will not be afraid. All right, good. I've got a portion of God's Word to share with you today. God's Word to us is the Bible. And in John chapter 1, verses 22 and 23, the religious leaders went out to talk to John the Baptist and to find out who he was. This is what happens next. Finally, they said, Who are you? Give us an answer to take back to those who sent us. What do you say about yourself? John replied in the words of Isaiah the prophet, I am the voice of one calling in the desert. 
make straight the way for the Lord. Well, John wasn't the promised savior of the world. They found that out. John wasn't Elijah. They found that out. He wasn't one of the other old prophets come back to life. John said, no, he wasn't. He wasn't the great prophet that was supposed to come. He wasn't that. And finally they were like, ah, give us an answer. We gotta tell them something. They sent us out here to talk to you. What do you say about yourself? I am the voice of one calling in the wilderness. Pre make straight the way for the Lord. Prepare the way for the Lord. Prepare. Oh, maybe grandpa or grandma are going to come out to visit you for maybe Thanksgiving, maybe Christmas. And you know what happens then? Mom goes crazy. She's cleaning everything in the house. If you don't, if you stand still too long, she cleans you too. She's got to prepare. She's got to prepare because special people are coming. Grandpa and Grandma are coming. And she wants everything to, to look fantastic. So she's preparing. She's preparing. So nothing's dirty. Nothing's out of place. And boy, oh boy, do you have to keep your room clean just before Grandpa and Grandma come. Well, the Lord was coming. Jesus was going to start his preaching and teaching. And God wanted people to be prepared. God wanted people to, to stop living bad lives like they had been living. God wanted people to be kind and sharing. God wanted people to, to take the time to listen to somebody like Jesus who would teach them the way to heaven. But how do you get people to change? How do, well, it's like, how do you get a house to not be dirty? You clean it, you prepare it. And so God sent John the Baptist to clean people's hearts through his baptism. God would forgive people their sins so that they would be loving God even more. So they would take the time to listen to God's word. So they would think about God had promised, how God had promised to send a savior into the world and how much they needed a savior and what a wonderful place heaven would be. And, and that's what John did. That's what John's job was. Prepare the way for the Lord. And, and that's why we've got the story of John written in the Bible, so that we are always prepared. Because there's lots of things that makes it hard to keep a house clean, isn't it? You want to play with your toys, and when you're done playing with your toys, you're so busy you don't have a chance to put them away. And the toys are all scattered around. Or maybe the puppy gets sloppy with his food, and there's food all over the place, and it needs to be picked up, and it's your job to pick it up. Or you just have a hard time putting your dirty clothes in a laundry basket, and they're kind of just thrown all over your bedroom. And, oh, that's not good. It's hard. It's hard to keep things clean. It's hard to keep our hearts clean. It's hard to think about Jesus. It's hard to even remember how to say our prayers sometimes. And so the message of John comes through. Prepare. Prepare the way for the Lord. Get ready. Get ready today.
because you are going to learn some wonderful stories about Jesus. Be prepared today because you're going to be able to show Jesus love and kindness to a classmate or a friend today. Be ready. Be ready to tell mommy and daddy what you learned about Jesus today. Prepare the way for the Lord. John the Baptist, that's what his job was, and that's what he did. Let's sing um, Children of the King. Children of the King, Jesus set us free. Children of the King, that's you and me. Pray hallelujah praise hallelujah children of the king children of the king on the cross he saved us children of the king he forgives and loves us praise hallelujah praise hallelujah children of the king children of the king go tell his story children of the king go spread his glory praise Hallelujah, praise, hallelujah, children of the King. Let's sing it one more time. Children of the King, Jesus set us free. Children of the King, that's you and me. Praise, hallelujah, praise, hallelujah, children of the King. Children of the King, on the cross he saved us. Children of the King, he forgives and loves us. Praise hallelujah praise hallelujah children of the king children of the king go tell his story children of the king go spread his glory praise hallelujah praise hallelujah children of the king good job good job it's time for prayer so let's fold your hands bow your heads close your eyes you think about the words I'm saying that makes my prayer your prayer when I say amen, you can say amen. You ready? Okay, here we go. Lord Jesus, there are still a lot of people who are sick. Maybe it's even one of our grandpas or grandmas. We ask that you give the doctors skill and wisdom and the nurses too, and so that everybody who's sick can get better real soon. Keep us healthy. Help remind us to always wash our hands. We ask this for your name's sake. Amen. I want to say goodbye to you the way the Lord wants me to say goodbye to you. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Listen to the music while you get your classes back together again. Thank you.